floss tube. Uh, my name is Claire and I am the anxious stitcher. This is floss tube number three and uh, this is a channel about cross stitch. Um, and let me tell you, it's what an anxious week this has been for me. Uh, there's just oh, so much going on. My daughter, my youngest daughter got sick uh, Sunday night and was sick Monday, Tuesday. We thought we were good Wednesday, but then Wednesday night she was sick again. So I took her to the doctor on Thursday and, um, and then she stayed home with dad today and, uh, I went to work. I only worked two days this week. Uh, it was a crazy day, but, um, you know, it's all, it's all good. And there was just a bunch of other things that had happened along the way as well. Um, but, um, that is why I crossed it, right? It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like therapy, really. So anyway, um, this is, um, my whip parade part three. So I'm going to show you all my whips from 2021. And let me tell you, um, there's quite a few. <laughs> I think I see 17. Yeah, that's a lot. And that wasn't even, again, not everything I started because I finished some things. So um, anyway, without further ado, uh, let me, um, oh wait, just a minute. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had everything ready to go. Um, I'm trying a new, uh, location as you can see, um, this is my living room. Um, I've been filming in my bedroom. My husband works, um, three nights a week, sometimes four, um, he works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and every other Saturday. And I just thought that it's Friday night, it's June 10th, and I thought, well, why don't we give this a try and film in the living room? And, uh, you know, let's see if this, the lighting isn't as good in here as my bedroom, but I wanted to give it a, give it a try. Um, and the kids are in bed, so... Um, you know, I think it'll, it'll be less interruptions this way. And, um, oh, by the way, um, my daughter is doing better. And, um, so we're hoping to just, you know, have a restful weekend and, um, so that we can get back to a normal routine next week. Okay. So now without further ado, I am going to, um, get into my, uh, my whips from 2021. Okay, so starting with, um, so new year, new start, January um, 2021. I decided, um, I actually saw Stitch and Mommy start these a while ago, uh, before that. And, um, it is the Advent Animals from Brooks Books Publishing. Um, I really don't have a good picture of this. Uh, they're all individual. There are 25 animals, you know, one for each day for, you know, the Advent, Christmas. And... Um, I was trying to see if I could show you without showing too much of the the chart, but that's kind of an example. And um, half of these I p ended up printing in black and white, so I thankfully had a couple of colored pictures in there. But um, yeah, so one animal for each day. And what I had decided to do was I had put them on a whip go board and so I was doing two whip go boards uh, starting that year. Maybe this is why I never follow through but because uh, I do too much but um, 
I put them um, on the WIPCO board and then I decided to work on, um, because two numbers are called each month, so I'd work on two Advent animals, excuse me, um, each month. And so that is what I uh, started. I'm not gonna show you, because I can't remember the exact order. Some of them are finished um, and then some are started and then there's quite a few that are not started at all. So I have, um, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I have seven. And so this one is called Peter Polar Bear and I didn't finish this one. Um, obviously, um, he's supposed to have a mug and he's wearing this adorable sweater. I don't have, even have his head stitched, but he is number two. Number four is finished. This is Duncan Dog. So cute. Ugh. I just love his little outfit. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, then um, number six. This was actually the first one I started and finished. Um, it is Cashmere Camel. And I just love like the little fringe like on the blanket there or, and um, like her tail. And then there are, some of them do have like a couple of um, specialty stitches and I know you can't tell from my lighting but um there it, I did use some like sparkly threads in like the snowflakes Let's see if that so um to add a little something to it so and then let's see number 13 is Colin Cardinal and this one is finished. So there's that one. And then number 18 is Remy Rabbit. He is not finished. Close though. And this one you might not be able to see at all because it's all, it's supposed to be Odette Owl. Yeah, it's hard to see, but um, I think I had like run out of floss, like this particular white, and <laughs> it just stopped at that point. Um, and then I was, I think I just got overwhelmed with too many projects and I, I, I didn't continue. But seeing these again, I really like them and I want to um, like to do it again. Um, I did kind of like the WIPCO idea where, you know, it's two random numbers drawn um, because it's hard to choose which ones to work on first. Um, so um, maybe, ne maybe next year I will do them again as a WIPCO, but only do WIPCO with those and keep my regular rotation with all my other stuff. So I'll have to come up with an idea of what my goals would be. I could even do WIPCO right now. I mean, there's half a year left and, you know, maybe, and I already have, um, you know, a couple of them finished. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's the Advent Animals Brooks Book Publishing. Let's see. Um, and if you go to the website, they were free patterns. So if you go to the website, um, I think they're still there along with some other fun ones. Um, and then of course there's wonderful designs to purchase too. So I will try to link that website down below. Okay. Um, I also had a second start, New Year's start. And I, I think I told you in my previous videos that I'd found these really great, um, bags from the Dollar Tree. They're like file folder bags. They're just plastic. And some of them, like I like how like the colors and the patterns, some of them, let's see if I have it with this one, came, came with like a second bag. So 
I thought this would be perfect for uh, to keep some of the floss in because I am stitching this particular one with the called floor colors, uh, which includes some Caron water, water lilies. Okay, sorry, I had to find the picture. It wasn't in its spot. This is January Garnet Fairy uh, by Mary Marabelia. And so um, my birthday's in January, so I wanted to st stitch this. And this is her. Love the colors in this. And I have worked on this this year. So, um, really fun. I'll probably won't work on this again until my, till my next birthday. <laughs> but, um, this is a beautiful one, so I'm really glad um, I got that one. And I am believe I'm stitching it on just a 32 count linen. I, you know, unfortunately, I did not write down um, all the fabric I used. I was trying to go through my Instagram, um, but if I did write it down, I will um, mention it. So that was that one. So then, um, so my birthday is January 8th, close to New Year's. And I had purchased another Mirabilia pattern. And uh, around the same time as the January one. And this one is Tree of Hope. And I love this one. This is one that I would actually like to do a skin conversion uh, because I haven't done that yet. And I just, I think this would be a good pattern um, to try that and maybe change the hair color a little bit. I haven't quite decided, but if you know of a good, uh, if you have suggestions for, um, for skin conversions, please uh, comment below and let me know. Um, and then um, I'm stitching the tree first. So let me show you my progress on that. This is again, another Dollar Tree bag that came. And again, it, it has another fun, like little mini bag inside of it. And let me see where Oh, here it is. Okay, so that is my progress. And as, as you can see, I um, I started at the trunk. I'm, I'm again, center starter. So I started and worked my way up and I plan on stitching the tree first and then go back down. So it'll be a little while before I get to the, to the ladies, but um, again, I wanna do a skin conversion so I can have, um, some more diversity uh, hung on my walls. So um, yeah, so that is Tree of Hope. And this is a 32 count linen as well. I I know with Mirabilia's you wanna try to s stick with the called for or at least close to the called for because of the beading and the size of the beads. So that is Tree of Hope. Okay, next is, ooh, okay, there's a lot to discuss with this one. This one, so I only had, so those were my January starts, then February I had two starts, and the first one um, was Huckleberry Farm by The Blue Flower. And I love this one. Again, like, it's funny. I think my tastes sort of uh, are pretty eclectic because uh, I, I told you, like, I love the fancy ladies, lavender and lace, mirabilia. But every once in a while, I'll see a sampler or, you know, some pattern that's kind of different. And I really like it. Um, so I had started this. This is the bag for this one. 
again, Dollar Tree, like they don't have these all the time, like these exact ones, but um, sometimes I'll get some in and I just snag a bunch of them all at one time. And so here's another, um, I just love how, again, the little bag with, with this one. And I believe I'm stitching this with the called for colors. And here it is. Okay. So that, this is 40 count, 40 count linen. And I apologize. I don't remember the color, the name of the color. And I, I didn't post about it. Um, but I know I got it from one, two, three stitch. So I, if I dig around enough, I might be able to find it. But I liked how I couldn't find that 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 um, that called for. I think it's shale. Um, so, but I decided to go with like a blue because I thought it would be like kind of like a sky background. But unfortunately, I I made the discovery this year. I'm gonna pull it out that um, I didn't get. The oh man and I just so disappointed because I you know I already put in the butterfly and had started stitching the alphabet and I was working my way up and I was like gosh that doesn't seem like a lot of space and nope I, I did some measuring and some math and it is not a big enough piece of fabric. So maybe I can turn this into a small of some kind and, you know, and then maybe I can cut the rest of the fabric and make, you know, do small pieces. Um, but I, I still love this pattern. So I want to um, stitch it. And I did a poll on my Instagram because my mom, so my mom cross stitches and she had purchased some linen and she doesn't normally stitch on linen. So she's usually an Ada stitcher and she um, purchased the called for linen and she had called me. She's like, I really need some advice, Claire. And I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? And she was like, I don't know if what I did wrong or like if I purchased the wrong thing, it, the, the holes are so tiny. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, what, what's the count on it? And she's like, well, uh, this is a 36 count. And I was like, oh yeah. So I was trying to explain to her how you would, you know, you stitch over two. And I was, I was trying to explain that to her and she's like, oh, there's no way I can, I can see that. So I said, well, mom, you know, there's nothing wrong with stitching on Ada. You stitch what you like. You don't have to necessarily do, you know, what's called for. It will still look great. You just need to make sure, like, as you, as you can see, make sure you do the right measurements. You're getting the right size fabric. So um, she's like, okay. She's like, well, would you want the fabric? And I was like, yes. I was like, send it to me because I'll use it. So this is. Um, the 36 count and I think it's like a cream and so I did a poll on my Instagram wondering if maybe I should hold up the threads some of the threads if I was wondering if it would look good the Huckleberry Farm would look good on this fabric. I know it's not modeled like, like the, you know, like the design calls for, but I think the colors would, would really pop. There's only one or two DMC colors that might not show up, but I was thinking I could probably substitute those. And so in my poll, it overwhelmingly I was like, yes, that would look on, good on that. And, um, but I'm going to set this aside because later on there's another design I might, that I had in my poll. So stay tuned in this video for that. Okay, so next 
is, okay, so that was my first February, that was February, uh, February start, and then my other February start is called, okay, so for my birthday, I had purchased um, I don't know if anybody's heard of the Stitching Book Club. It's Instagram, um, Etsy shop. I'll try to link all that below. Um, but I purchased the uh, this designer um, does this. It's like a stitch along. D designs four patterns throughout and per. Excuse me, I cannot talk tonight. <laughs> There, it's a book theme, so there are four books, and she designs a pattern related to the book. There we go. And um, so the books were Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, The Great Gatsby, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Chronicles of Narnia. So I was like, oh, that sounds like so much fun. I like books. I like stitching. Great. Okay, so um, I purchased a membership and I received the purse pattern. And it, so it's kind of like a mystery stitch along almost. Like you don't really know what the patterns are going to be. And um, so Sense and Sensibility was first. That's one of my favorites next to, you know, Pride and Prejudice. And um, so this is, I'll try to put a picture of the pattern if, it's available, but this is what I stitched. It is not finished. I think the motif is supposed to go, there's something else down here if I remember correctly. But um, as you can see, I never, I never finished it. <laughs> and um, I just haven't had any desire to work on it. And then I never uh, followed through with the what rest of the patterns. The, the Chronicles of Narnia was, you had to purchase that one separately. So really the membership was for three patterns and then the fourth one was going to be separate. Um, but I have the, the patterns in my email still, so I, I'm going to hang on to it and, you know, hopefully, um, I'll feel the inspiration again. Maybe I can, you know, read the books again and feel inspired to, you know, stitch along with it again. So, um, that was my second February start, 2021. And so the next start wasn't until April. And this is another, you'll recognize, many of you will recognize this one. It is Alice in Wonderland by Owl Forest Embroidery. And this is what I had done. And it was released in parts. And I think I started it late. And I, you know, again, I started, I was trying to do it in the order that they, um, that the sections were released. And I think it, I was late to the game starting it. I was trying to catch up, but I never caught up and I just fell behind. And I, it was like, it was making me feel anxious. <laughs> so I put it away and, but I saved, it's a free pattern. So I, it should still be available on, on their website. And it's a, you know, PDF. And, um, so I, I have the pattern still and I still like it and I'd still like to stitch on it. So, um, I think now that there's no pressure <laughs> to try to finish along with the stitch along, um, I think it would be fun to work on again. So someday I'll, I'll, I'll fit this into my rotation again. All right. So next is, Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. So, um, towards my earlier stitching years, when I was purchasing, like, the cross-stitch books, I got 
this one. It's called The Glories of Cross Stitch. And the designer is Lauren Turner. And this is such a great book. I have stitched, I actually have stitched a couple of things in here. Um, for instance, um, this one is called When You Wish Upon a Star. And I actually, I stitched this one and I'm really sad it's missing. I don't know if I gifted it or if it got lost in one of my many moves, but um, I'm a little sad that I, I don't have it, but maybe someday I'll stitch it again. Um, and then I also stitched, let's see here. Ah, this is Cat's Home. And I stitched this for my mom, my parents, and they have it hanging in their house. And it says, a house is not a home without a cat. So, um, it, I haven't used this book in many years. And it was on my bucket list, my stitching, I have a stitching bucket list. That is kind of what this 2021 starts is all about. It was getting to all the different designers and patterns um, that I wanted to on my uh, cross stitch bucket list. Um, and I absolutely, this is my favorite. It's called The Glory of the Sun. And when I was younger, when I was like a teenager, I was really into the celestial theme, you know, sun, moon, stars. So this just reminds me of all that. And I just, I think it's so great. And the colors are so great. So um, this is what I have done. This is a 40 count linen in light mocha. I was really into 40 count that year. I still like 40 count though. Um, I like all kinds of fabric. It doesn't really matter. As long as I get to stitch, I will work on it. But I kind of figured that, you know, while I'm younger-ish, I better stitch on higher counts. I already wear glasses, but I'm, I'm nearsighted. So my problem is more, you know, seeing things far away. Um, but... I think I, um, one thing I'm going to do is I don't think I'm, I'm not going to stitch. This is all solid stitching and that's just a lot of tan cream. This is not solid stitching, but, but this is, and I, I don't want to stitch that. I just want to stitch the flowers and the border. So I'm going to, and I think that fabric will look good. Um, you know, without it, I th I just think it will look fine without, without this. So, um, but I'm going to stitch like all of this and then all the motifs. So, but just not the background. So anyway, and it says there's one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star differ differeth from another in Gloria. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 41. So, Gloria the Sun. Next is, oh yes, another cross-stitch bucket list. Um, so I have wanted to stitch, that year I was like, bucket list items, Chatelaine, Heaven and Earth Designs, long dog samplers. Here it is. I kept this one in one of these. I should take that off. And then a lot of times, um, if I have like a printed pattern or I printed it on my printer, um, I'll put them in fun folders like this. <laughs> Just fun and colorful. And this, the so long dog samplers, this one is called descending order. Uh, the monochromatic pieces are really beautiful and I 
I think I, st I do want to stitch one of those someday, but I really love color. So I just love the colors in this. I think they're gentle arts and I had to substitute a couple of classic color works because there were some I couldn't find so I had to make some substitutions but at most of it's the called for and what's really great is so you put um the initials of like your ancestors and the year that they were born um down at the bottom here and then um I would put my initials up here and then they put must this is 2012 so they're probably like you know when you finish it you'd put the year but I think I'll put my birth year here with my initials and then I'm thinking about fitting in maybe in these two my daughter's initials both of my daughters um and their birth years so um you know and then start with my mom and then working back with her family um, I just think, I just love the idea of this piece. And again, the colors and the motifs are just so beautiful. And again, not a lot of project, process, not a lot of progress. But this is where I'm at. And this is a 32 count linen. So beautiful. I absolutely love this. Love it, love it. <laughs> I said this in my last video, but every time I get out one of these old pieces, I just, I just want to stitch it. I just want to work on it again. But I have, I have a rotation that I want to stick with. So there we are. Okay, next is this is another bag another dollar tree bag and this one is dun, 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 september sapphire fairy um, my youngest birthday is in september so um i have a fairy for uh the three girls. So, well, actually what's funny is my, my husband's birthday is in January too. Our birthdays are four days apart. So, um, January is kind of for both of us. And then like my husband and I, and then, um, of course I have the March chocolate Marine fairy for my oldest. And then this is for my youngest. And I, I just think this one's beautiful too. The colors are gorgeous and I am doing the called for colors. There's like, I think there's just a couple Caron water lilies and then I think the rest is DMC, but this is where I'm at. I had got a good start on this last year. And my intention is to stitch the, those Mirabilias, the, those fairies. Um, since I do Mirabilia Mondays, um, to stitch them in our birth month. So come September, work on September Sapphire Fairy, January, you know, work on in January, March, work on in March. So that's kind of my idea with those. And um, I don't feel like there's like necessarily a hurry to get them done. It's just, it's just fun. And my, my kids are still pretty young. So um, but they love them. Every time I get them out, they're like, oh, yeah, you're working on my, on my fairy. <laughs> so, so yay. Um, I had another, so that was a May start. So, okay, let me backtrack a little bit. So Alice in Wonderland was April. Glory of the Sun was April. And then I moved, this is descending order was May and uh, September Sapphire Fairy was May. And then there was another start and I can't find it. Oh, 
I don't know what I did with it. I re worked on it recently too, but um, I had ordered an Owl Forest embroidery kit. It was Prince Daffodil. Maybe I'll insert a picture um, just to show you from um, maybe the last time I worked on it or, or when I had started it. Um, I purchased the kit, it came with the linen, um, the, their threads, their, their dyed threads. And, um, I had a needle minder and, um, it's really fun. And I worked on it, gosh, not that long ago, I think in April. And, um, when I was preparing for this video, I couldn't, I couldn't find the box. I keep it in its box. So it's somewhere. So if I find it, maybe I'll bring it, I'll bring it out in a future video. Of course. Um, I hope I find it because it's got to be somewhere. So anyway, that was one of the starts. Um, I did not do this. This is the year I did not do like a mania, stitch mania. I just happened to start, you know, a couple of things every, every couple of months. So I only started three things in May and like two, two things in April, two things in February, three things in January. So Anyway, next is, oh yes, so it's one of my current whips and I actually was working on this, so it's in my hoop right now, but my, my Friday, my hashtag for full coverage Friday, XS, cross stitch, Spirit of Flight. And I've been continuing working with the the 310. Um, I was working my way this way and there's just a little bit over here. I just have this idea of like kind of color completing certain sections um, before moving on to a different color. So I was working on this tonight. So that's just my tiny little progress right there. But I think I'll work a little bit more um, when this video is done. So yeah, that's the year I had started that one it was 2021 and I had purchased the kit. So it came with the, the grid and then all the floss on the, the floss cards. So that was, you know, it was really nice to have something that big, just kind of all, you know, put, already put together. <laughs> So then, you've seen this one as well. I had started, so Spirit of Flight, I started in July. I did have to wait a little while. I think I had to wait like 90 days. And it does say that on their website, um, if when you, especially when you order the, the, the kits. Um, it took, yeah, a couple of months. And then Chatelaine, it took, it took six months. And again, um, the floss actually, um, European cross stitch company is where I ordered the Chatelaine kit. This is the Royal Tudor Mandala. And so yeah, European cross stitch company, I had ordered the kit and I started this in October because it took, it took six months. But you know, 2021 was still pandemic time. And I believe a lot of the threads were hard to, to come by. And actually what held up my order was um, the fabric because it's so, um, they didn't have it in stock. So I had to wait for the, for the fabric. And European Cross Stitch Company, they're really good at communicating. Like they reached out to me to, to let me know, Hey, we're working on your order. We're waiting on the fabric. And I just thought that was so great. So great customer service. And they even asked like, if you, if you find a fabric, just let us know, we can just send this to you. So and I was like, Oh, it's okay. I'll wait. I was, I was willing to wait for this. So, um, anyway, Wednesdays, Chatelaine Wednesday hosted by uh, Kitchy Whips and Fiber Arts Amy. 
And so I worked on this on Wednesday. Um, again, with my daughter being sick this week, um, even though I was home, clearly I, I, I didn't always stitch a lot. I stitched every day, but, um, it wasn't like, a, you know, oh, it's a day off. Let's, you know, it wasn't like a fun time. So, um, if she was like napping or resting, sometimes I would pull things out. But um, I am continuing to work on the border and I'm almost done. And once I finish this part, I'm going to go back in and start the specialty stitches. So that's exciting and intimidating. So, but now I'm excited. <laughs> okay, now this one... This is one I had I had seen it on Instagram and it was one of those situations where I I kind of remembered the name of it a little bit but uh, I didn't know who the designer was and I couldn't find the post after like the post and when like I, I when I tried to find it again I couldn't find it and I couldn't remember who who it was that had posted it um, but after a little research, I found, found it, uh, watermelon, I think, tourmaline, please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not very good at pronouncing things, but Carol Manning Designs, um, I remembered the watermelon part, and that was about it, so I was trying to search for things online, like watermelon cross-stitch, or quilts, or I, 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 but eventually I did find I did find it and I again this is not my usual thing but I just love the colors in this it kind of reminds me of my wedding colors because I did pink I did pink green and gold but the pinks and greens in this um I just I just love and so I am stitching this on a four another 40 count and this fabric is just gorgeous. That is my start. And it is an opalescent. It is called, is this Weigart, 40 counts Weigart, Emerald Iris, I think. And it is so pretty. And I was talking with my mom about this one time. I was showing it to her. Um, like I sent her pictures. We, uh, we don't live. Uh, my my family lives uh, five hours away, so we we are on the phone all the time, and we send pictures, and we Marco Polo, and we you know Facetime and all that. But um, she had suggested that maybe be, with this, especially because I have the sparkly fabric of like maybe finding a color and like leaving it blank so that this the sparkle comes through so I thought oh that's kind of a good idea so we'll we'll see um again I haven't really picked this I haven't really picked this up very much so um eventually I would like to get back to it and experiment with that so so fun watermelon tourmaline by Carolyn Manning Designs okay so then, oh yeah, so that was in October. So Royal Tudor Mandala was October 15th. Watermelon Tourmaline was October 23rd. And then the same time, um, the temperature butterflies. I, Stitchy, Stitch and Mommy releases her patterns, you know, early fall, September, October. And the moment that I saw her floss tube where she showed her uh, 2022 temperature pattern, I like paused the video and I purchased it. I went to her right away. And because again, butterflies. Yes. <laughs> I'm not doing very good. That. <laughs> 
the picture and the and the butterfly and so butterflies I just love butterflies um again it's in my hoop because I work on it constantly um but this uh I had started uh I had started early because I wanted to get the outline of the butterfly started before the January 1st. And this is 14 count Ada uh, Mystic Fabrics in the color Aurora. And I just think it's so, so fun. Um, as you know, I work on this, you know, on the weekends and on Tuesdays. So, so yay. So that's when I had started that one. And uh, to go along with the, um, to, to the, there's a story to this. So I had had this idea of doing 2022 as an, as no, no new starts. And so I wanted to like start all the things. And so that was one of the reasons besides getting a good start, a head start on the butterflies. Um, there was some other patterns that I had seen that I, I was like, I want to start them all. And um, so I don't have the picture for this. Um, if I find one, I'll insert it. But um, this is Red Cardinals by Owl Forest Embroidery. This is my, my progress on it. And this is, um, maybe this is a 32 count, I think. I didn't write it down, but um, I th think it, maybe it's a 28. Well, anyway, um, Red Cardinals. I saw it on their website and I purchased the PDF and just using, um, the colors are not quite the same, um, because I just kitted it up with what I had on hand and I'm making this for a work, a, a coworker, a work friend that I've worked with for a very long time who loves, uh, red cardinals and, um, so I wanted to stitch this for her and her birthday is in November, which is, you know, close to Christmas and we work in retail. So, you know, that's holiday time. <laughs> and, um, so I thought this would be nice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish this this year, but, um, I had, I had actually, I had struggled with this because my fabric choice I think was a little too light so I feel I felt like you couldn't see the white very well but once it, the, I was adding the other colors like the green then I was like okay maybe it's not so bad and then I was a little concerned that this color was too pink but I decided to just go with it and then this motif here Again, it's hard to see because it's white. Is is off like the? It didn't match. It it's off. But I I did. It was supposed to have something in the middle of it, and I, maybe I'll put something in there. But I'm not frogging. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not redoing that. So, um, there it will stay. But that's okay. Um, I think she'll love it anyway, and I don't think it's really that noticeable unless you know about it. So. Um, so I, I, I will pull this out this year though, um, at some point. So maybe later this summer or in the early fall, maybe. So next, okay. So this one, I, so I actually had worked on Red Cardinals actually. Um, I worked on it on Thursday. I just, pulled out a bunch of different random things. And I was like, I feel like working on this. And I, you know, worked on it for like 30 minutes and then I put it away and then, okay, I'll work on this because, um, that was, you know, after we got home from the doctors and, um, we just hung out in the afternoon and she was starting to feel, but my daughter was starting to feel better. So then I had some stitching time. And, um, so this though, 
was another start. That so the red cardinals was a this these so this one and red cardinals and then another one were a New Year's Eve starts. So I had three <laughs> New Year's Eve starts, and then this one is I purchased it on Etsy. This is another it's supposed to be another gift. It's called In This House Friends, and it's stitch area. And I recently checked and I don't think this pattern's up there anymore. So, um, but what had happened? I, I, ha I have no idea how I missed this. But, so this is where I'm at. But the fabric's too short. I stitched it the wrong way. Like, what? What was I thinking? Like, Why? Oh my goodness. I I seem to have problems with with uh figuring out fabric sizing. I'm not good at math, so it's not it's really not surprising. <laughs> um but I I I did not want to frog this. I I just don't. So the that cream linen I was telling you about earlier that my mom sent me I had thought about, well, maybe what what if I restarted this and put it on this? Um, and interestingly enough, so I was like, okay, which one, I on on Instagram I said which which one should I start on this fabric? Should I do Huckleberry Farm or should I do the Friends? And overwhelmingly, it was Friends. It was like eighty three percent. I was, I was kind of surprised. Um, but I, I think I, I, I went back on Etsy. I found a different designer and it's still, it's a similar in this house. We do friends is the name of it. It's so it's similar to, to that design. And I like it better because, um, I'll insert a picture. And I, I think I like the design that has like the little motifs in it a little bit better. Um, so I still haven't made up my mind. I might put it on this fabric still because it's still the same. It's really the same colors. Um, just the, the font is different. I just decided that I, I just wasn't really in love with this one. I didn't. It just was not what I wanted for my friend. Um, <laughs> my friend, her for her friend's piece. She loves friends. And um, so I, I'm, the, the vote is still out for that because I, I'm just not sure what I want to do. So I might start that new pattern on that fabric or I might start Huckleberry Farm. I'll consider it. I'll, I'll think about it some more. If you have an opinion, you can, of course, leave a comment below and let me know. And as you can see, sometimes I'm pretty indecisive, which is why I like to do those Instagram polls. All right, we're nearing the end. So the last, the last one for 2021 is from a magazine and oh this is the one I'm keeping red cardinals in so many cute little bags Dollar Tree is amazing this is the one this is the one I'm keeping this one in it's a magazine magazine and look it even has a matching I even found a matching folder with it it's called autumn friend and it is from the 365 cross stitch magazine does 3 365 cross stitch designs volume 7 magazine and this is my start it's just DMC I did substitute some colors. I actually, I had started it 
and then um, I worked on it the other day and I discovered that one of the colors I, I felt like was too there it was like a little too orange so I ripped it out and um, replaced it and now I like it so um, this will be for my mom um, who loves to feed the squirrels <laughs> And I just have this vision of finishing it. Um, where is it? Okay. Finishing it similar to this, like in a hoop. And then maybe finding, like go to a craft store and maybe find some little acorns. <laughs> and like put them, you know, put them here, make a little, little something. So that, that is was my my thought for that okay so that was my last start for 2021 that was a lot so if you're still here thank you I hope you I hope you enjoyed that um I have a couple more things um I said I would show a previous finish so um this was a 2021 start and I finished it January 1st, 2022. And that is Temperature Tree by Stitch and Mommy. I just love this. This was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And I did get a little behind, but then like it was so easy to catch up because the leaves are so small. So, and I don't know if you can tell but maybe not but I added um sparkly thread on rainy days I had heard somebody doing that I think it was stitching at the cabin um I think that's where I saw, saw that and I was like oh that's a great idea and <laughs> I live in Oregon so it rains a lot so there's a lot of sparkly thread but it um something that I did was let's see where is it okay and on the days it snowed I stitched a little snowflake and then that year in, in February we had a um a ice storm and our power went out for like five or six days so I backstitched black around those days and put the little snowflakes uh it was such a scary time because tree branches were breaking and falling to the ground it's like everywhere and it was so dangerous to go outside oh yeah it doesn't help my anxiety at all um so yeah I thought that would like I needed to do something for that and then the opposite end of that we had the hottest day we've like had it was like 115 that's like unheard of here and so I did like a bright orange to outline that one day that was like so hot and then the other special there was one more um oh again they're all very subtle so these are just little subtle details but um we had I had we had rented a beach house on the Oregon coast and it was just such a wonderful magical time um I invited my parents to come with us and we spent like three days in this beach house and it was so great. So I did gold stitches around, back stitching around there. So that is temperature trait. And then I just stitched my name at the bottom or my initials in uh, 2021. I just wanted it to be really subtle. So I did it really tiny. So it still needs a frame like my other temperature pieces. But I really love that. That was, that just turned out so nice. So 
that was my previous finish. And so this week I worked on, or this past week, I should say. So last weekend, you know, Wensler weekend, uh, which is something that, you know, Kitchy Whips does. And uh, I think there's several people that do it. But um, this is Night by Teresa Wensler. And I had, oops, I am so sorry. I was holding it the wrong way. I think, yes, that is the correct way. Um, so I had done so much in here. So I really went to town on this. I think last Sunday is when I worked on this and I really went to town and I had posted that like, I had, I felt like I was going cross-eyed because there's, it was, there's just so much like confetti, but, um, it was really, it was still really fun to work on. I enjoyed that. So that was last Sunday and then Monday. Um, oh, and if this fabric is 16 count plum pudding. So it's, it's a really fun fabric. And here is my Mirabilia Monday piece. March Aquamarine Fairy. I had work started on the next. I've been doing this like row by row. So I had started, I got a lot of the that blue in for that, that section there. And this is just so pretty. And then I guess I'll throw in the tool of the week. Here's one of my needle binders. And you know, it says, stitching is a lifestyle. <laughs> so cute. I picked it up at one of the craft stores. And so that was Monday. And then Tuesday was the butterflies, which I already showed you. And the Chatelaine Wednesday, which I already showed you. And then, ooh, the next one is... Let's see, what did I do with that? Okay, sorry about that. I had to find it. <laughs> um, I had a new start. And I know I said, I'm not going to do haul. Every time I say, nope, don't start the things, then I end up starting the things. Like, no, don't go buy those patterns. Yes, sir buy the patterns um but I this is something I've been thinking about for a while again it's another it's another gift for my mom but this is starting Tom by Lindy Stitches and it's just so funny it's so cute <laughs> it makes me laugh but the story with this is um like the squirrels my mom my mom loves wildlife and she, there's a, a troop, I think that's called a troop. Is it a troop of wild turkeys that come to her yard every day? And she just loves it. She thinks they're so, they're so funny. And uh, so I just thought this would be really fun and it's not big. And um, yes, it's in my, in a hoop again, because I was working on this yesterday and I plan on working on it again tomorrow, but I got a really good start on, on it. So that was my new start. And so my idea for Thursday, because I didn't have anything really planned for Thursdays. Um, my idea is to, I don't really have a fancy fun name for it but um to my idea is to on Thursday stitch on on gifts for people so like the end of 2021 20, I had three things that are are intended to be gifts and then I just started the um starting Tom <laughs> turkey <laughs> and I 
actually, I really want to get that turkey done before my mom's birthday, which is the end of July. So that's putting a lot of pressure on myself, but I think I could do it because it's not a very big piece. But I thought, gosh, you know, um, if I dedicate a day to stitching on, on gifts that I intend to give people, um, you know, I could make a lot of progress. So um, that's what I'm going to do on Thursday, stitch, stitch on gifts. And a lot of the gifts I have are not necessarily, besides that, well, no, the friends piece is pretty big. And then the autumn friend is, is, um, it's kind of like a full coverage because even though it's a circle, it's, it's all filled in. Um, but still, I think it would, that would be a fun thing to do. And I still, um, plan on working on this, um, the turkey on this weekend and on, on weekends too. I like to kind of work on a couple of things on the weekends. Um, so yeah. And then I already showed you my full coverage that I'm still working on. So, um, so plans are this weekend, um, to work on temperature butterflies, get caught up, work on Strut and Tom, um, and the Teresa Wensler, and then, oh, more days of the week ideas. I have done this before, and I want to go back to it, because I want to include lavender and lace in my rotation. So, I am going to work seasonal Saturday and work on a Celtic lady of the season. And I know technically it's not summer yet, but summer is almost here. It's June. It doesn't look like summer because it's been raining a lot this week. But I want to work on Celtic summer. So, on Saturdays I'm going to work on Celtic ladies within the season because I just, I really do enjoy stitching se seasonally uh, when I can. I like to throw in different things too, of course, but so that'll be Saturday. And then on Sunday, because I had showed this last week and was felt inspired, I am going to work on Sunday. I want to do um, stay home Sunday and work on I'll be home. By Twin Peak Primitives. So, and somebody commented in my last video, they made an awesome suggestion. I'm sorry, I can't think of your name at the moment, but they suggested because you can't read the, the month, um, she suggested backstitching it, like outlining it. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So I think I'm going to do that and see how it looks and um, that way I wouldn't have to frog it either. Um, but I thought if I could work on that and then I was thinking, um, my idea too was, um, to like work more on the border, like get more borders filled in and then next year, like work on a house within the month that it's in. So maybe get some of the more, more of the borders worked in this year and then yeah, work on those fabulous houses. So that is, those are all my plans. Yeah. So, um, I'm not gonna, um, cause this video is, is already going to be really long. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm not going to name all the floss tubers um, that I watched this week, but I am going to list them down below. So if you're interested um, in checking out some other floss tubers, there's so many great ones. And I am trying out new to me floss tubers and, and brand new floss tubers like myself. So um, I really like seeing different uh, different stitching, uh, different people. Um, it's such a great community. Um, thank you for all the, um, the kind comments. I got lots of great comments 
and um, I'm already, I was kind of amazed after two videos that I already have over 100 subscribers. I'm kind of like, wow, that's, I know it's not a lot to um, most lots tubers, but uh, for someone that's just starting out, I was like, oh my goodness, there's 100 people out there that want to watch my videos. So, so thank you. That's so, that's so great. Thank you for being here. I hope I continue to, um, make great content for you or, sh you know, share all my, uh, my cross stitch. I just, you know, I just love it. And, um, like I said, I, I don't know if this will be a, a frequent stitching spot. Um, I might even refilm this. I'm not sure, but, um, uh, again, thank you for watching. Like uh, the video, subscribe if you would like, uh, leave a comment or question down below. And I, my plan for filming, um, I want to try doing the, the Friday night filming and then to make Saturday uh, editing days and to post on Sundays. So... I will try to continue this weekly uh, video posting. So thank you. Have a good week of stitching. I hope it brings you lots of um, comfort and joy.